Hi there, it's Cool Dude Clem here, and some of you may be familiar with record players. They're these devices that play these plastic discs. Put the disc on the record player and start it up. This one's an automatic, so I barely have to do anything. And it plays a record and the music comes out. But as some of you may know, I'm a person who likes to take ordinary things and do extraordinary things with them. And today, I'm going to see if I can make this work as a microphone. Without any kind of modification. So, let's get started. Firstly though, got to take the record off so it doesn't get scratched. And I'll just put that down there. and take the needle out because we won't be needing that for this experiment and also don't want to damage it so there's the needle removed and there's a little rubber bit here that connects the needle to the bits inside it and if I touch that you can hear that it picks up the vibration and you can hear it through the speakers. So this is my idea. What if I took a piece of paper and had that pressed up against the rubber bit on the cartridge and see if it would pick up any sound vibrations. So let's see what we can do. I'll put the piece of paper on like this. You can put the cartridge on top of it. Okay. Now I'm going to make it so the paper is only making contact with the little rubber bit. Hopefully without damaging the cartridge. Okay. Now you might be able to see that the paper is touching the little rubber bit and nothing else. And looking at it from another angle we can pretty much confirm that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it onto this tape recorder here which I have connected up. I'm going to put the input volume on as loud as it will go and I'm going to make a recording and then play it back into the computer so you can hear it. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this picking up? It certainly sounds like it is. Well, let's see how that went. Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this picking up? It certainly sounds like it is. Okay, so I now have the record player's cartridge connected to the microphone input on the tape recorder. If I turn this up, even getting a little bit of feedback there. So, I'm going to try this, even though there does seem to be a lot of background noise with hum and everything, but let's see if this works any better. Right, I've got the tape all queued up. I'm just going to turn the speakers off. Now, actually, I'm going to touch the metal base. Hopefully that will cut out some of the hum. And let's see if this thing works. Hello, hello, hello. These Edison, Edison jokes are getting really old now, so I'm not even going to do one. And I think I touched the paper with my lip. And I'm popping my peas quite a bit. Anyway, testing. One, two, three. Is it picking up? Hello, hello, hello. These Edison, Edison jokes are getting really old now, so I'm not even going to do one. And I think I touched the paper with my lip. I'm popping my peas quite a bit. Anyway, testing. One, two, three. I refined my design a little bit and this is the Mark II version. Simply a paper diaphragm resting on a sticky tape roll and a pencil there to angle it properly. So let's see how this one fares up. Testing the Mark II version. Does this pick up? Does it sound any better or any worse than their previous attempt? Right, let's see if that recorded anything. Testing. One, two, three. 
testing the Mark II version. Does this pick up? Does it sound any better or any worse than the previous attempt? And there you go, there's my little record player experiment. On the whole, I think the one that I made with the paper and the sellotape worked pretty good. So that's it, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, goodbye.